This thing is called the Emio and it's freaking cool. I have dabbled with wind synths for over 15 years. In that time, I've owned and played most of what's been available. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why this new device, the Emio, is a total game changer. Jay Metcalf from bettersax.com here. I've had this thing for a couple of months. During that time, it's been sitting on my desk and I play it on most days, which is more than I can say for any other wind synth I've ever owned. Now, it certainly isn't a perfect instrument and I've got a few ideas that I'll cover for how it could be even better, but the true test of any given musical instrument is does it motivate you to want to pick it up to play and how long does it keep you playing? Now, I've got lots of real saxophones to play and of course I prefer playing on those, but when I do pick up the Emio, I find myself playing it for long sessions and telling myself, bro, just pick up a real saxophone if you're going to play for so long. The point is, I enjoy playing this instrument, not as much as a real saxophone, but more than any other wind synth I've ever owned and by a lot. So let's talk about what this thing actually is and how it works. On their website, it says the Emio is the world's first digital practice horn for saxophone players. They are very clear about saying that this is not intended to be a performance-based wind synth like the Akai Iwi is, for example. It is meant to be a practice saxophone and the design is laser focused on doing just that. Obviously, the most notable thing about this instrument is that it is a brass body tube with the keywork of a real saxophone. Well, sort of. You see, they didn't just take a saxophone body without the bell and neck and stuff some electronics inside. This is a special, very unique design with a lot of modifications to make everything work. The tube itself is about the same size as an alto body tube. The keywork feels pretty much just like a real saxophone because basically it is, but there is less of a gap between the left hand and right hand keys, making it a bit more like a soprano saxophone in that regard. Have a look at the clever design on the left and right hand pinky keys, which allows for everything to fit in a lot less real estate. And also the octave key mechanism. Now these keys function just like real saxophone keys. They are brass and have key pearls on them. The mechanism functions with the same blued steel springs you find on real saxophones, and they even have the same leather pads that close over tone holes just like real saxophones. This is really important and a big part of why it's enjoyable to play the Emio for saxophonists. When you close a key on this thing, it feels like the real thing. Your finger is traveling the same distance, you get the same resistance that you're used to, and when the pad makes contact with the tone hole, it feels and even sounds like it's supposed to. The palm keys, side keys are all there. We have a neck strap ring and an adjustable thumb hook. There's even a lyre holder, which might be taking things a bit too far. And yes, you can make adjustments to this just like you do on a real saxophone. I have already lightened up the action of the keys to make it play more like I'm used to on my actual saxophones. You can even adjust the key heights with corks and felts if you wanna get one of these to match your personal preferences as much as possible. Now you may be wondering, how does it work? Keys are all triggered with magnets, I believe, and they are set to activate at a particular distance. This is also really clever because once again, it gets us that much closer to the feel of playing a real saxophone. The note doesn't change until I've almost completely closed the key. For keys that open, it's the same thing in reverse. The note changes before the key is completely open. The result is a surprisingly natural feel when it comes to the timing you're used to. A rather big issue with other wind synths is the key glitches. The Akai Iwi and Roland Aerophone, for example, have very different mechanisms from a real saxophone that takes some getting used to and are prone to a lot more glitches. On the Emio, the glitches you get are pretty much the same ones you're gonna get on a real saxophone, so practicing this thing is actually going to help your saxophone technique. I did make an adjustment to the octave key on my Emio. 
which helped reduce the glitches I was getting there tremendously. I just love the fact that I can make adjustments to this thing the same way I can on a real saxophone. The whole idea behind the EMEO is to help saxophone players practice their technique when they can't play a real saxophone, and it does that very well. Now, the EMEO is not gonna feel exactly like your Selmer Mark VI or whatever instrument you play, but the mechanism is very standard and comfortable. The onboard sounds with any digital saxophone are, let's face it, not great. The Emio does not have any onboard sounds. It does come with a sound library, but in order to hear those sounds and play with those sounds, you need to be connected to another device like a computer or a tablet or even a smartphone. You can also use any other third party patches with the Emio, and I'm demonstrating a few of those examples throughout this video for you. At first, I was a bit disappointed by the lack of internal sounds, and I would still like to see a future version of the Emio that has a couple basic patches and a headphone jack. When traveling, I do like to practice on a wind synth in a hotel room with Bluetooth audio from my phone that comes out of the instrument's headphone jack while I'm playing the internal sounds. This way I can play along with tunes or backing tracks and the only wire is the headphones. I have not yet traveled with the EMEO, but when I do, I'll have my laptop with me and just connect to that. You can use your EMEO with your phone or tablet as well via Bluetooth. This actually works with pretty low latency, but if you, but if you are an advanced player, you're gonna notice the very slight delay in response. The other thing that is notably missing from the EMEO is a bite pressure sensor. It has a very sensitive breath sensor, but I cannot bend notes on this thing in any way. Again, at first I was disappointed by a lack of bite sensor, but then after playing on it for a while, I realized I'm not missing it. And on the Akai Iwi and the Roland Aerophone, both of which that do have a bite sensor, I don't really use it all that much. I do think this is something they may add in the future, but considering that this instrument is not really designed for performances, I understand why they left it out. got some options for the mouthpiece with the Emeo. Since there is no bite sensor, the basic mouthpiece is just a hole you're blowing to. You can fit a saxophone mouthpiece on there if you want. I don't see any point in putting a saxophone mouthpiece on it though, so I don't. It also comes with this 3D printed mouthpiece that offers an alternative shape if you prefer that. And there is this angled tube you can add for comfort. I'm using both of these here in order to extend the length of the instrument. And one improvement I'd like to see is a longer neck extension. I play the Emeo sitting down, resting on my thigh without a neck strap, and it's just a bit too short so that I have to bend my head down and hunch a bit when playing. I'd love to be able to play this thing with better posture. Speaking of accessories, the Emeo comes with a very nice case, but I wouldn't hesitate to just wrap it up in a towel and put it in a carry-on bag. It's got a rechargeable lithium battery in there that lasts for several hours, which is very nice, and it comes with a USB-C connection cable. Another very cool feature on the Emeo is that it doesn't have any buttons or switches on it. You access and change the features using the existing saxophone keys and special combinations. So for example, I could change the transposition by holding down the E flat and C right hand pinky keys, blowing into the instrument, and then choosing one of the side keys. The low B flat is for a B flat transposition like tenor saxophone. The side C key is for concert transposition and the high E palm key is for an E flat transposition. The process takes one second. There's no fiddling with little buttons or looking at a tiny screen in the dark. It's something you could do in the middle of a performance 
no sweat. You can also change the range of the email in the same way. Very quickly, I can access higher or lower octaves. The email is set to have the same range as a real saxophone, but very quickly I can adjust that range and bump everything up an octave or down an octave if I want to. We can also adjust the air resistance in the same way. The Emeo has three settings, soft, medium, and hard. I've got it set to medium and it feels really good. It's a really nice minimalist design. There's nothing there to distract you from just practicing and having fun. As of the recording of this video, the Emeo sells on their website for $1,550 plus shipping from Israel. Now this is still a pretty small operation and as I understand it, each month they prepare a limited number of these and ship them out to the customers who have left a deposit and are waiting. So I believe if you want one of these, you may have to wait a couple weeks before it gets shipped out to you. Now I did not purchase mine. It was sent to me by the company with no strings attached. I'm reviewing it here because I've had countless requests for an EMEO review and because I really enjoy playing the instrument and think it's going to bring a lot of value and happiness to anyone out there who ends up getting one. I have arranged for a special discount for Better Sax subscribers who would like to purchase an EMEO. If you mention the fact that you saw this video and use the code BETTERSAXEMEO, they'll give you 5% off your order, which works out to be about 75 bucks, not bad. I've met some of the team who make these and I can tell you they are just passionate saxophone nerds like the rest of us. They're on a mission to provide a really helpful tool for saxophone players who want to practice but can't play on a real saxophone for whatever reason. Definitely check out their website for more info and details. I put a link in the description. Don't hesitate to reach out to them if you got any questions. Now I know this thing costs quite a lot more than some of the other options that are available and that I've reviewed on this channel in the past, but if you need a practice saxophone that you can play anytime, anywhere that feels pretty much like the real thing, at least in your hands, there is no comparison. The Emeo, in my opinion, is a much better value overall than the Akai Iwis, the Roland Aerophones, and the Yamaha YDS-150s. It's really made for saxophone players by saxophone players with a very specific function in mind. Rather than doing a whole bunch of things poorly, the Emeo focuses on doing one thing really well. You can definitely use this thing for performances. And I know there are people using it for performing. I'm going to be using it for silent practice and for when I travel. Now go ahead and watch this video next where I demonstrate the Roland Aerophone AE20, which is my recommendation for a digital saxophone costing under $1,000. It also has some features that the email does not.